Heading into Margaritaville. Across the way, there's the Grumman Albatross that Michael really wants. And the bar. Heading into the restaurant. They've got the bar on Porch of Indecision. They've got the retail store. And around the corner is where you actually enter. It's 11.40 on a Thursday afternoon, February 4th, right before Mardi Gras weekend. Oh, sorry, it's not Thursday, it's Friday. So we'll see how busy it gets tonight on a Friday night. I doubt that there's gonna be much of a wait in here at all. There's the store which we always buy something at. Got seated right away. Super convenient. Hi, thank you. Live in here is so awesome. I've got all the condiments on the table already, which I put out to the side. And we got a scan for the menu. Here is the everyday menu. We are getting our favorite thing here, which is the conch fritters for $13.95. And they are very similar to what I get in the Bahamas back home. So that's a definite must. They even have basically conch sauce, which is nothing more than mayonnaise, ketchup, and a little hot sauce, but it's good. And then we are going to split the, um, the fried grouper sandwich, the Florida grouper sandwich, which I'm getting to here in a minute. Oh, burgers in paradise. We're going to go to the Burgushi place, what's it called, cowfish, so... They have fantastic burgers, so we're definitely not gonna worry about burgers here today. Um, although we have had the burger in paradise, and of course it is delicious. So there, we're having the Florida grouper sandwich together. We're gonna split it, which is delicious. And I've also had the coconut shrimp, which is amazing. They have it with a, a really good sauce on the side. And of course you can get margaritas. Here's the bar area, and when they play the volcano song, the volcano will erupt, which is super cute. Outside is the porch of indecision, which it's a perfectly breezy day. So it'd be a great day to sit outside. But we've been out for most of the morning, so we figure we'll just relax in some AC. Enjoy some seafood. Now, the bathrooms here have the jet dryers, so we definitely like to bring our own paper towel and we have the opportunity. I feel like all the pictures back here. Fins up. Such a neat atmosphere in here. Lots to see. Got some boats right here. Ready to go fishing. Never seen anyone playing here, but it's neat that they have a stage. And then there is an upstairs as well. There are the giant nachos. <laughs> Never enough sour cream though. <laughs> They're huge. Actually, they're the perfect size, but they definitely are more than one or two bites. I usually like to cut them because they're very hot inside. If you don't cut it, you're gonna burn yourself. Yeah. So if no one's ever had a conch fritter, they're tiny um, pieces of conch chopped up and put into a batter, and then they're dropped straight into the deep fryer, which is why they have these kind of mottled edges to them. And, uh, they're a little bit spicy. They've got some green pepper and chili in there, but the batter is really chewy and, and 
doughy and then the exterior is nice and crispy and the sauce as I said was like mayonnaise, ketchup, maybe a little tiny bit of mustard and some hot sauce. He's gonna try the jalapeno uh, tartar. tartar which doesn't go with conch fritters by the way but you do I you. I bet it's not spicy either. You do you. <laughs> not spicy? It tastes really good. Yeah? Not hot. <laughs> His version of hot. These are tiny bit spicy, but not not too bad. And I don't like spicy food, but I do like spicy Bahamian food, like conch salad and conch fritters. So. Uh, oh, definitely hot. <laughs> See how it's still a little doughy in the middle? Delicious. Mmm. Get some of that sauce on there. Delicious. You know when that spinner fell off and landed right on the table and someone was eating it. <laughs> Here is the grouper sandwich, the fries, slaw, avocado, delicious dressing. Thank you. Um, Grouper sandwich, tomato. It's pretty bad. Stale bread. Uh oh. Yeah, here we go. We're going to try it. <laughs> I might have to eat it off the bread. All right, fish sandwich take two. She brought out a new piece of bread and it feels much better. Not much better. It's not a delicate sandwich. You're going to get messy. But the fish is really good. It's not fishy at all, which sometimes it can be a little bit. Because, you know, it's probably not fresh grouper. It's probably frozen anyway. But I like the creamy slaw with the uh, hot, crispy fish. And the fish is nice and moist on the inside and crispy on the outside, so it's not over dry or anything. Very good sandwich. What are you going to do with your...